Hi. Today we're going to look at a new AI tool called Whisk. This is created by Google and you can get access by just logging into labs.google and then you can see FX tools Whisk. So you can get that way into this uh, application. It's an online one. You can just get into this and you can sign up with your email ID and then you can get access to this. So how this works, it's purely a kind of a photo editing tool. So you can use some kind of a style. So I'm just using a make a sticker and then I just select the style. So automatically when you select this, what kind of style it is. So it just give you an example of it. So let's drop an image here. I'm going to pick one of the model and I can just drop here and automatically it will give you an output like how that's going to look at in the kind of a sticker style. Let's see that. Good. So with a white dress, with whatever the design, with the kind of a same sticker, it generates that one. You can still go and do fine tune and all that stuff. Just open in the tool. So you can see here the subject has been given with the two different options. So this is just an option uh, based on the subjects what you uploaded. You can still tweak them whatever you want. Let's say um, instead of white, I can say pink dress. And it will give you, let's see how it's going to come with the output. So it's pretty much with the same model. It's, even if it gives you the necklace with a separate sticker on it, which is good. So like that, it just provides a sticker. So you, it's not just only that. You can also, if you wanted to refine, you can just pick whatever the picture you want. So let's say this one, I wanted to refine it. So I can pick that one and you can see here the prompts, what it used for that sticker. So you can use this, you can go and just change that one. Instead of say long brown hair, I can say long black hair. And you can see, and instead of light brown skin, if you wanted to make white, I can say white skin. And let's see how that comes up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like this. I'll, this is a good tone. Or still you can just go and refine them. So I'm going to pick the subject. So I can go with upload an image, the same image. And the scene, I can say a coffee shop. Sitting in a coffee shop, maybe. In a coffee shop. That will be my scene. So it will generate some kind of a scene there. And let's see what it comes. That's giving a coffee shop and a subject. And <clears throat> so if you see here, along with the subject and scene, you can generate or you can modern. You want it to have some style. So if I don't have a, have a style, it's going to use these two things to create a some kind of a realistic image. So let's see. And additional details, like instead of white, if I wanted to change to pink or black, whatever. So I want to leave that as is now and let's see what the output is. Okay, beautiful. So you can see here in the coffee shop, a young woman sitting down there with a long brown hair. Good. And, and look at the photo image. It is so real. I can see the bricks, the sitting chair, the skin texture, the coffee cup and the tea table. Everything looks very perfect. So that is really cool with this whisk. I wanted to change. Let's pick this one. So I'm going to change the dress to black and we'll see. And also I say instead brown hair, let's say black hair. And not only the subject, I wanted to change the, the stuff like a coffee cup color. So a white coffee cup, I'm going to say that as brown. So let's see now the output. Hmm, this is cool. I really love that. Look at here. Everything is perfect. I love this coffee cup and the saucer and the dress, black color, everything good. And the background is blurred and the chair, I can see it's more perfect. And the outdoor, it's all really cool. So this is really amazing. So. The one good thing with the Google, this labs.google FX, all pictures are, it's 4K. It gives more detailed and compared with the other Flux model, I would say this is really good. So as of now, there's no credits or anything you need to pay for it. This is all free. You can generate any number of images 
and you can play around with all this as of now because there is no price for that one one thing is you need to sign up and then use this labs.google and here you can just play around with any kind of images or you can just put any of the prompt and you can generate a number of images so this is just using the subject so let's do this i'm going to pick up this copy the prompt and remove the subject and i'm gonna tweak this uh, middle aged woman with a long black hair whatever i'm not gonna say it's gonna be a coffee it's a coffee shop so it's just only the subject i'm gonna generate with a prompt rather than using an image nice i would say this is really cool and now she's sitting in somewhere so i'm gonna change the place to somewhere in the Star mountain restaurant yeah this is this scene is really good so i'm gonna mix this too and let's see what will be the output wow this is so amazing look at here i got a subject sitting near to the snow mountain area and it looks so real i don't see this is kind of an ai image the model or the person i, I would say rather than saying a model it's a real person sitting somewhere in the snow mountain area the back valley with the mountain everything this is so cool it's all real and this one is also really good so now let's change the style I wanted to make this more even more better by saying it's cinematic cinematic wow this is so amazing look at the colors wow I'm really amazed with this this is really amazing so this is something which don't even exist we just created a prompt to get a model or the subject and then we had the style like somewhere in the snow the snow mountain and then we had the cinematic style and you got a real a person sitting in the snow mountain and with a more like a cinematic view there this is so amazing i would say yeah let's have the cinematic i like this one so i'm gonna upload one more image and this is gonna be my subject now and now on the scene beautiful garden somewhere i would say it's a beautiful garden okay this is nice um let's see how it's gonna generate so i'm gonna have a subject in the garden in a cinematic style let's... wow this is so cool look at here a real person i don't know this is not i mean i don't really feel this is an ai image this is someone really sitting in a chair in a garden and it's more cinematic i really wanted to try this with the other so let's try this with the chat gpt and we'll see the comparison pretty here uh, oh my god look at this this is clearly says it's an ai generated image and this one so you can see the difference i don't have to say anything this is from the chat gpd and this is from the google whisk you can see the picture face and you can quickly say which one is ai generated i didn't change anything on the prompt i'm using the same prompt let me check that on the one more favorite one called mistral so here I'm going to give the same because this use the flux model. Okay, so you see the image. Now I'm comparing. I don't have to say anything. You can see the results. You can see the results between Google Whisk with ChatGPT with Mistral AI with using the flux model. So that's the beauty of Whisk. Get access to Whisk. Play around. So this is really amazing. You guys should try and make use of it as much as possible before they go for pricing once they define the price you may have to pay for it i don't know about the price but sooner when it comes i can just let you know but as of now this is completely free so access it try to use it do as much as you can and make use of it i'm always here to help you guys you just need to take the first step which is the hardest part if you found this video helpful make sure to like share and subscribe to support the channel thank you so much for watching